guys, Lindsay here with Gym Ra. I have a Pilates routine or a mat workout for you with a foam roller to make it a little bit more challenging. So let's get started. Grab your roller and you'll place your feet on it, hips distance apart, parallel on your arches, and then you'll roll all the way down. Pull the roller towards your butt and then keep the roller still. Neutral spine, arms pressed down into the mat. On your exhale, lift your hips up into your bridge, squeeze your butt, and inhale, lower your hips back down. Ground down through the inner arches of your feet so that you don't roll to the pinky toe side of your foot. Gotta keep your back flat like a board. Exhale, hips lift, squeeze your buns, and then inhale, lower it all the way back down. Back is lifting and lowering in one piece, and the front of the chest is wide by pressing the backs of the shoulders down and the arms down into the mat. Then connect with your hamstrings by isometrically pulling your heels towards your butt, and then try to keep that roller still. Exhale, lift and inhale lower, trying to pair the breath with the movement. Good, keep it nice, slow, and controlled. The foam roller adds instability to all the exercises we'll do. Instability, it will feel like it's shaking and rocking around, and what you're trying to do is control that. So if you move with momentum, the roller is gonna start shaking more. So you take that momentum out of the movement, find control, isolate those contractions in your glutes, hold that squeeze. Let's do three more, three. And final two, exhale, lift. Squeeze your butt at the top, inhale, lower it down. Let's hold it up here at the top. Keep your hips high, roll the roller in an inch and out an inch. Pull those heels to your butt and roll it away. Hamstring curl as you roll in, little release. Squeeze it in and little release. Like there is a ball behind the back of your knee and you're trying to pop it. Exhale to squeeze, inhale, release. Once you see what we are doing, please look straight up to the sky so that you can keep your neck elongated. And we keep that spine nice and healthy. And we've got four. Hamstring curl, heel the butt. Three. And two, glide that roller in and hold it in on one. Now pulse your hips up from your tush. Squeeze your glutes. Five, eight. And seven. Six. And five. Starting to find that shake for four. And three. And two. Squeeze, hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, keep pulling your heels to your butt, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Melt the spine back down. Glide the roller in, keep your left foot planted on the roller and extend your right leg to the sky. Lift your hips up into a bridge and then keep your hips still. Your right leg will draw a circle on the ceiling. Now try to keep everything else still. The roller, your torso, your hips, as the leg circles around, your pelvis stays still. Last one in this direction. And then we reverse, we have six. Press down into the floor, lift those hips up. Five, four, smile, three, it's almost done. Two, one, come to center, pulse your hips. Ten, nine, squeeze that left glute. Eight, seven, poke a hole in the ceiling with your right toes. Keep that leg straight. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, melt it down. You know it, second side, right foot on the roller in line with the hip. Reach the left leg to the sky. Oh, that feels good. Here we go. Neutral spine, exhale, hips lift. Inhale, hips lower. A thing about single leg work is you will notice one leg is much stronger than the other. So if your right leg is your dominant side, this, might, this side might feel a little bit easier, which is good because this is your second side. But if you're left-sided, I'm sorry, this is gonna be the harder side for you. <laughs> okay, it's an exhale to lift, let's hold the lift, and then you'll circle that left leg around on the ceiling. Keep your pelvis still, belly button to spine, four more, four, everything stays still. Roller, pelvis, chest, three, two, one, reverse those circles for six, and five, firm your hips into the midline, four, Three, press the palms into the mat. Two, one, come center and let's pulse it up. We've got 10. Squeeze that right glute. Eight, seven, six, five, four, hips up. Three, almost there. Two, and one. Melt it down and take a rest. Okay, lift it up. Straight legs on the roller. Flex the feet. This one's a friendly one. Reach for the roller. Pull yourself into the roller. If you're not quite so flexible, bring the roller close to you. Hold the top of the roller. Fold in from there. Lengthen out those hamstrings. 
and then exhale, let's roll it up. Okay, get into that core. So place the roller long ways on the mat and then you'll take a seat at the bottom of the roller. Line the roller up with your spine. Roll it all the way down. Number one thing is head should be supported. If it's not, you'll scoot a little bit lower. And then your hands will come down onto the mat to brace the floor. And then you'll lift your legs up into tabletop. Keep the balance of your core. Inhale, dip the right toes to the ground. Exhale, lift, same side. Right toes dip and right toes lower. Imprinted spine, so every inch of your back is pressed down. Big range of motion all the way down, all the way up, and try not to let your low spine back bend. No arching, no natural curve. Last two. Good. And final one. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Left side. Inhale to lower. And exhale to lift. Working that stability. Sink your navel into your back body and drive those lower back muscles into the roller beneath you. Good. Trying to keep even weight on both sides of your hips and breathing through it. It's an inhale to dip the toes down and an exhale to lift the toes up. And let's find three more. Three. As your toes dip down, press your back heavily into that roller for two. Good. One more. Let's make it a little bit more challenging. Why not? So glue those legs to get together. Inhale, both legs dip. Exhale, both legs lift. Losing my hat here. Okay, let's try it again. So both legs connected. Inhale, both legs dip. Exhale, both legs lift. Inhale to lower. And exhale to lift. As your legs go down, work harder to keep the connection of the core, pressing into the roller beneath you. And stay connected with that breath. As we exhale, the abdominals and the diaphragm naturally contract. So just by breathing, we're finding that core work. Last one here. Legs are in tabletop, working more balance. On your inhale, you'll separate your legs, hips distance apart, and then exhale, glue them back together. Inhale to open, and exhale to connect. Moving like you're moving through something sticky like thick mud. So no momentum. All right, let's do two more like this. As the legs open, keep the spine centered on the roller. And last one, we'll make it a little harder. Just the right knee will go out to the right. Exhale, pull back to center. Inhale, out to the right. Exhale, return center. Maybe the left arm can lift. Good, try to keep your spine centered. Everything is hugging to the midline. This is a really great challenge for the stabilizer of your core. Let's go last one. Come back to the center, we'll switch sides. Okay, so it's just the left knee. Inhale, open. Exhale, center, tighten the core. Inhale, open. Exhale, wrap the ribs to the midline. Maybe that right arm comes up to the hover. Good. Intensifying the work of the core. As the left leg opens left, keep the back of the right side of the body down. And three more, three. Nice work for two. And final one, inhale, open. And exhale, connect. And let's take the legs down and reach the legs to the sky. How are we doing? Stick with me. And flex your feet. It's an inhale to lower the legs down. Find the shake, exhale, return up. Move super slow, so you're still in that thick mud here. Inhale to lower, sink the navel, and exhale to left. Good. If you're greatly advanced, you could definitely try lifting your arm up, keeping the balance of your hips. Play with each one. Maybe you're hovering both. Inhale to lower. And exhale, lift. Last two. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Final one. Inhale, lower. And then exhale to lift it up. Bend the knees. Set the feet down. And let's come all the way up. Grab your roller, place it across the front of your mat, and then let's lie on our stomach. Good. Extend your arms overhead, and you'll place just above your wrists down on the roller, a little wider than shoulder distance apart. Hips press into the mat, eyes to the floor. As you inhale, glide the roller to you, lift your chest up into extension, and pull your shoulder blades together on your back. And then as you exhale, you'll glide back out. Inhale, broaden through the collarbone, plug the arm bones into the back and widen the chest. Exhale, roll it back down. One more like that. Inhale, draw the roller in. And then exhale, roll the roller out. Adding the right arm, as you roll the roller in with the left arm, the right arm will lift up, take a twist to the right, 
circle the arm back to the roller, roll it down. Inhale, roll the roller in, right arm circles back up and around. Exhale, hand to the roller, glide it out, final one. Inhale, glide in, open up through the chest, taking a twist, and then right hand to the roller, taking it to the left. Glide the roller in with the right arm, reach the left arm up and back, and then circle it back to the roller. Lower the chest. Inhale, glide the chest up, circle the left arm back, open that left shoulder up, and glide the roller back out. This is really great for people that sit at desks all day long or looking down at their phones all day long, trying to get the front of the shoulders to widen. Glide the roller out, place your palms down on the roller, press down into the roller and lift the chest up. Hold the lift of the chest and widen the collarbones. Turn the legs out so the knees face the side wall, squeeze your butt. Lift your legs up, lower your legs down. Working that side glute, continue to lengthen your tailbone towards your heels. Good meaning to get rid of the curvature in the low back so that we're not pinching into our spine. As your legs lift, there shouldn't be any movement in your low back. So if you feel anything in your low back, try to make the range of motion smaller. It's just the leg that's lifting. It shouldn't feel like a forceful movement. Three more, three. Reach through your toes. Try not to let the knees or the ankles bend. Last one, lower it down parallel. Knees face the floor, tailbone to heels. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Now almost think of rolling the inner thighs to the ceiling so that the legs are truly parallel. It should feel like a lot of work if you're really doing it right. Reach through the toes. Try to get the toes to touch the wall behind you. And try to maintain the lift of the chest. Glide the roller up to you. Keep the chest wide. Press down into the hands to lift the collarbone up over the front of the mat. Last one. Hold your legs lifted. Draw a circle up, out, down, and around. Up, out, down, and around. Four, three, two, one. We're reversing. Down, out, up, and around. Down, out, up, and around. Sticking here for four. And three. For two. And one. Lower the legs. Bend the knees. Connect the heels. Press the hips into the ground. Knees are hips distance apart. Exhale. Lift the thighs up. Squeeze your butt. Inhale. Lower. Try to have the feet right over the knees. You can bring them a little bit closer to get deeper into those hamstrings. If you need to modify, you can keep the legs longer so that those hamstrings don't cramp. You can also modify by resting your head down on the mat if you need to take the extension out of this work. If your chest is lifted, try to look down at the front of the mat so the back of the neck is lengthened. Heels are pressing together, hold the legs up. Let's pulse to finish. 10, nine, from the base of your seat. Seven, six, pinch your glutes. Five, four, three, two, one. Man, that was some work. Okay, roll that roller in. Let's take a quick child's pose. Take a deep breath there. Let that low back release. Maybe shift side to side. And we'll come back to center. Roll that roller in. Okay, we're taking it to some planks. My absolute favorite. So we'll start with a forearm plank. You'll have your forearms down on the center of the roller. Interlace your hands, elbows right underneath the shoulders, round the spine, lift the belly, and then step the toes back behind you and find your plank. Good, if you are more advanced here, you'll roll the roller in an inch and out an inch. In an inch and out an inch. Push down to lift the shoulder blades apart and away from the spine. Continue to draw the front of the pelvis up towards the frontal ribs. It's an inhale as the roller pulls in, and an exhale as the roller pulls out. This is huge for shoulder stability, so you'll probably feel very shaky in your shoulders, and that's okay. It's definitely a newer exercise here, so it's much different than being in a forearm plank on the floor. You've now added an instable surface. Fronts of the thighs are lifting. Six more, roll it in, roll it out, and we've got five. Good, staying strong, roll it in. Roll it out, pull your head away from your fist. Last three. Little movements, in and out, final two. Roll it in and rest those knees. Coming into some push-ups. You can do these on your knees as well. I'll show you that option. It would be right here, kneeling, hands on the roller. If you're a little bit more advanced, 
come up into your plank. Hands are wider than your shoulders. Hips are a little wider than hips distance apart. Inhale, bend your elbows, chest to the roller. Exhale, press yourself back up. So this is my intermediate option right here. If you wanna amp it up, we'll go single leg lifts. Lift your right leg up, inhale, bend. Exhale, press. Plant the right foot, lift the left leg up. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press. Continue to alternate. Lower the whole body down in one piece. Inhale to lower. Exhale, press up. Use those core muscles to support your spine. There's always a modification of keeping both feet down or coming onto your knees. Let's go for four. Good. And three. All the way to the end. It gets tough. That's when those changes happen. Good. Last one right here. Inhale, bend. Exhale, up. And take it down. Nice work, guys. Okay. Let's have some fun. So we're going to take the roller behind us. If you thought those planks were hard, I've got some news for you. <laughs> These are going to be the hard ones. So hands will come down right underneath your shoulders. Fingers spread wide like roots of a tree. Tops of your shins will go down on the roller. Press down into the tops of your shins and then lift yourself up, round your spine. On your inhale, glide the roller out. Exhale, pull the knees to the chest, round the spine. Inhale, roll out. Exhale, scoop into a ball. Inhale, glide out. Exhale, press the floor away from you and tuck. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lift the navel high to the spine. Inhale, roll it out. Exhale, knees to chest. Let's go for 10. This is a classical exercise on the reformer that I put with the roller. It is called jackrabbit. So quick pace, so we've got six. Exhale, inhale. Final four, and three. For two, and one. Rest your knees. Okay, hardest one of the day. I'll take it a step up. If you need to come back, come to the one we just did. Single leg. Hands underneath the shoulders. Keep your left shin on the roller and extend your right leg straight back behind you. As you send the roller out, pull your right knee to your chest. As you straighten your right leg behind you, pull your left knee to the chest. Right knee to the chest, right leg lengthens. One knee bends, one leg stretches, and then switch. We've got 10. Scoop into the spine. Eight, seven, keep it up, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest your shins, second side. Right shins on the roller, left knee to chest, glide the roller away from you. Pull the right knee to the chest, lengthen the left leg, and then left knee to the chest, lengthen the right leg. Zipper the abdominals, and here we go, we have 10. And nine, inhale, exhale, roller in. Eight, seven, six, shoulders and hips face the floor. Four, get a little shaky, three, and two, and one. Glide the roller in, A plus. That was pretty badass, good work. Okay, let's give those wrists a little shake. And we're coming up to standing. So this will be like your lunge that you might normally do, but a little bit more challenging. So you'll have your back foot, your right ball of the toes, tucked against the roller behind you. Hop that left foot forward. Square your hips to face the wall in front of you. Tall spine, find your balance. Here we go. Inhale, bend both knees straight down. Exhale, straighten both legs back up. For this first one, try to keep the roller still. Most of your weight is in your front foot. Inhale to bend, and exhale to stand. Good, press into your four corners of your feet. Left big toe, left pinky toe, inner ankle, and outer ankle. Inhale, bend, and exhale, stand. Woo, find that balance. And let's go for five. Stay with me. For four. Spine stays upright. Final three. Breathing through it for two. And last one. Inhale, bend all the way down. 
exhale all the way up and step on off okay second side so bring this roller behind you left ball of the toes are on the roller and let's hop this right foot forward into our lunge stance feet about hips distance apart hips squared tall chest inhale bend both knees and exhale push through your front heel stand tall inhale to bend and exhale to stand. So this first lunge variation, we're working stability and keeping that foam roller as still as we can. Inhale to bend and exhale to stand tall. As you bend down, keep your chest back in space. We want this front knee staying directly over this front ankle rather than the knee going forward over the toes. Inhale to bend, get it low and exhale to stand nice work guys let's go six more for six and final five good staying with control here this is that kind of part where i was talking about earlier where we want to keep momentum out of the movement especially this one because we're standing up we don't want to fall over last two inhale bend exhale stand tall and then our final one inhale bend Exhale, bring it all the way up. We are in Laguna Beach today. It's absolutely stunning. I've got a lot more coming for you guys this summer. Lots of Pilates routines. We're throwing in a couple props. Today we did a foam roller workout. One of my favorites. And I'm just totally in love with life today. And enjoying this gorgeous blue water. So mesmerizing. It's easy to work out when this is what you are looking at. So I look forward for you working out with me. And I hope you can join me on this journey. For this next one, the foam roller will move. You'll place the top of your right foot on the roller behind you. Hop that left foot forward in front of you. Find your balance, upright spine. Here we go. You'll glide the roller back in space as you bend both knees. And then the roller will glide back in as you stand tall. Inhale, bend both knees. Weight is in the left heel. Exhale, stand tall. Go nice and slow. Inhale, roll the roller out. Exhale, push through the left heel, squeeze your left glute. Five more. Inhale, roll it out. And exhale, stand. And we've got four. Good. Use your obliques. Wrap your ribs around the spine. Last three. Good. And final two. Let's finish it right here. Last one. Inhale, bend. And exhale, roll it to you. Switching sides. Last set of lunges here today. Take the left top of the foot on the roller behind you. Hop that right foot forward. Find your balance first. Hug the hips to the midline. Inhale, roll the roller out with the left foot. Bend the right knee. Glide the roller in as you stand tall. Inhale as we go down. Exhale, right glute. This guy right here, push through the heel and squeeze it. And we inhale to roll out. Collarbones wide. Exhale to lift up. Stick with that breathing. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Good. Last six here. First six. Squeeze your booty, your booty on the way up. And rolling it out for five. Pushing through the heel to stand. Slow out with control and slow in. Final three. Let's find that gaze. To help your balance, lock eyes with a spot on the wall. Last two. Inhale, roll it out. Exhale, roll it in. Last one here. Inhale, glide it out. Exhale, push through your heel. Lift it all the way up. Nicely done. Okay, guys, back to the mat. So the roller will go across the mat at the front of the mat. Hands on the roller about shoulder distance apart. Got a little sweat in my eye. Knees, hips distance apart. Press down into the ground, lift your core. Turn your right knee out to the right. Lengthen the rug to the right, bend the knee and lower it down. Turn the knee, lengthen, bend the knee, lower it down, working the side of your right hip. Now, try to keep your hip bones squared to the ground. So if you notice you're really leaning over to the left, hug that left hip in. Roll the right hip down. Advanced option, you'll extend your left arm out to the left and continue. 
lift the knee, lengthen the leg, bend the knee, lower it down. Let's do two more for good measure. Last one, you're gonna keep it all the way straight. Sweep the right leg back behind you. If you have the arm lifted, you'll reach the left arm overhead. Take the arm and the leg to the side, arm overhead, leg behind you. Rotate out to the side, and then take it back behind you. A lot of instability here, especially if you're on that one arm option. A core connection, navel up into the back of the body. Last one, arm and leg reach to the side, pulse it out, lift it to the ceiling. 10, nine, eight, a little higher, seven, six, five, four, three, you can do it, two, and one. Take it down, sit into that right hip, give it a little love, catch your breath, and we got our second side. Okay, so hands underneath shoulders, knees hips distance apart, left knee, turn it out to the left, extend the leg, bend the knee, lower it down. Exhale as you lift and lengthen, inhale, bend and lower. Good, firm this right hip in, so that when you lengthen the leg, your hips stay squared, and that we're not leaning into that right hip. One leg is definitely gonna be harder than the other. It's normal to have those imbalances in our body. But just push through, try to do the same amount of reps. Second side is usually harder no matter what, because that bottom knee was already stabilizing. If you took that single arm option, let's reach that right arm out to the right and find that here. Making it a little bit harder on the stability. Pull your navel up. Let's not forget about those abs. And let's go last one. Turn the left knee out, lengthen the leg. Sweep the leg back behind you, reach your arm overhead, and then take your arm and leg back out to the side. Try to keep them lifted. It's okay to shake, that's actually our goal. Finding muscle fatigue, good, and endurance. Shoulders plugged, and breathing through the work. Okay, let me see a little smile. This is a great time to remind yourself why you're here right now. Getting fit, getting healthier, being strong. Okay, it's our last one, overhead and behind you. Back out to the side, this is it, pulse it up to the ceiling, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and you're done. Sit into that left hip. Well done with that, don't get too excited. We still got it, those triceps. Okay, tricep time. So roller behind you. Let's take a seat on the roller, wipe the sweat, and hands by your hips. Shoulder blades draw to the spine, press down into the roller and slide your hips forward off the roller. Good. Not your butt, but your elbows. Bend your elbows straight behind you and extend. Inhale, bend, exhale, straighten. Try not to put too much weight in your feet, so this isn't what we want. Keep your booty up. It's the arms that are descending the spine. Good, inhale to bend, and exhale, extend. Four more, and then we got some pulses for you. And three, for two, sink it low on one, pulse it out. Up an inch, down an inch. Why do 10 when you can do 20? That was five, we got 15 more. And here it is, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Okay, let's take a seat on the roller. And we'll extend our legs long out in front of us, beautifying the mat. Here we go. Take a seat. This time, legs will go straight. Give those wrists a roll. This is our front plank. Hands come by your waist, just as before, fingers over the front edge. Walk your legs forward. Roll yourself forward. Toes and knees turned out to the side, Pilates V. Press your pelvis up to the ceiling. Widen your collarbone. Intermediate option is right here. You can go back to the tabletop to modify. Here we go, my advanced people. Leg kicks. Inhale, kick. Exhale, down and switch. Kick and down. Reach through a pointed toe. Get your leg up there. When your leg lifts, try not to let your hips stop. Drop down. Good, let's go six. Press the floor away from you, wide chest. And final four. You're there in three. Kick it way up for two. 
all the way up on one and then slide it down. Nice work, guys. Okay, we'll take the roller, we'll place it right in front of us, and we've got a nice stretch for you. Pinky side of the hand down, like you're about to chop it in half. Walk your knees back, knees hips distance apart, stick your butt way high to the sky, and then drop your chest through your arms. This is a great lat and shoulder opener. You can look straight forward or you can look down to the floor. Then opening up through the front of that body. We did a lot of planks. And then you'll glide the roller in. Okay, let's stretch those triceps out. So elbows point straight down. Have them more narrow than you think. Palms pressed together, at least shoulder distance or closer. If your head can drop through your arms, you'll let that happen. I'm not sure if it will with my hat. Oh, there we go. And then stick your butt up to the sky. You can bend your elbows and bring them towards your back. Pull your ribs in. So we're still letting the chest drop down, but the core has its connection. This should feel like a nice stretch around the front of the shoulders, your lats, your armpit area. Oh, we just did those tricep dips, so let's lengthen the muscle here. Let's take two more big breaths. Inhale and exhale. Last one, inhale through the nose. Big exhale, let it all go. And then roll up. You guys, that was killer. Thank you for joining me for my foam roller routine and I hope to see you on the next one. When you first log in, you'll be asked about your connection speed to ensure that you have the smoothest viewing experience. Click on settings to adjust your connection at any time. On the workout page, you'll find a difficulty slider that allows you to choose your fitness level. When switched to show all, you can browse routines for all levels. To filter the level of difficulty, switch off the show all button and adjust the slider. Once you've selected your desired level, click on a category to see all the workouts available for that level. If you'd like to view our full-length routines, click on the Video Streaming tab for a selection of workouts in a variety of categories. To familiarize yourself with the app features, click on the Menu tab on the right-hand side of the screen to access the About page. Here you'll find information about all the app features. You can refer back to this page at any time, but if you still have questions that haven't been answered, we're here to help. invite you to join one of 50 free workout programs at gymra.com. You're never going to get bored and you'll have enough workouts to keep you busy for years to come. I know that's exciting. You'll never hit that workout plateau. Let me show you a little bit about what you can expect. When you sign up for a free account on gymra.com, you'll be asked whether you'd like to be assigned a program based on several basic questions about your fitness level and goals. If you'd rather browse the programs and weigh your options, click on no. I do not want any programs. Head to the programs tab and scroll to find a program that fits your needs. As you can see, we cover everything from weight loss to toning and sculpting, yoga, Pilates, abs, lower body, upper body, we have it all. Now let me show you how the programs work. If you've chosen to be on a program, when you log into gymra.com, you'll be directed to the My Program page featuring your workout of the day. All you have to do is press play and start exercising. To see details about the workout, click on More Info. The animated GIFs below are the individual moves in the routine. Here, you can see your workout at a glance. You also have access to your personalized weekly and monthly calendar. 
You can change your program by clicking on the Change Program button. Simply click on See All, then select your desired program. Watch the introduction video and check out the details by scrolling down the page. If the program looks like a good fit for you, then simply click on Switch to this program and you're all set. Your new program will start automatically. If you're unable to do the workout, save it for later by clicking on the plus button next to the title. This adds it to my list. I want to thank you for choosing Jimra. I know you have a lot of options. We've spent so much time and effort here to bring you world-class trainers, a huge variety of workouts, and it's all for free. So thanks again for joining me. I hope you enjoy the free workout programs and we'll see you soon.